telling you guys this morning, I feel kind of crappy. <laughs> I didn't sleep good. I woke up hard. Oh, man. I took a shower and it didn't help a whole lot. It, it did help. It did help. So where are you going today, John? Going to shoot a pistol competition. So last week we were at the range and uh, Russell was telling me, hey, we're all doing this bug, bug shoot. And I, I don't know if it's IDPA or not, but anyway, it's, it's the back up gun. Back up gun. This isn't Chinese, or not Chinese, Arabic. Anyway, uh, <laughs> anyway, anyway, anyway. So it's the back up gun shoot, and I'm like, okay, cool. So I was going to take the Beretta 21A out and uh, use that. I've got three magazines for it. That's the requirement. It can go in a pocket. Uh, cool. So uh, I get to the gun shop to register for the shoot, and he got me all registered and everything. He got me all registered. They're all talking. They're going to use their 26. What? Oh, yeah, we're going to use our 26. Everybody's using a 26. Like, oh, my gosh. You're going to use your 26? I was going to use my 21A. 20, Glock 26 is not a backup gun. If you introduce me to somebody and tell me, well, they carry that as well as a full-size service pistol, uh, I will be amazed. I will be amazed for... Civilian concealed carry, a Glock 26 is not a backup gun. It is a go-to CCW. You know, that's just my take on it. So, this whole thing, we're all using Glock 26s. I, I grabbed mine, and here's the thing. The Glock 26 isn't even my, my go-to anymore. Uh, in the extremely long, difficult, arduous journey, getting my wife to select a firearm for her bug out, get home, whatever. She finally decided she really liked my Glock 26, so I lost my primary pistol. Uh, anyway. <laughs> anyway. 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 So... <laughs> So I had to get it back from her. I haven't shot it. Oh my goodness, two years. So here's the here's the excuse cockpit of the motorcycle. This is where I'm gonna make all my my heartfelt pleas of please excuse me for stinking on ice. Please excuse me for sucking excessively. I slept hard last night, I woke up hard this morning, wrong side of the bed and everything. Uh, I have not shot this gun in two years. We'll see how we do. I did practice. I did practice uh, reloads and all that. Um, oh, that's another thing. I can't find the 10 round magazine to go to the gun. And that's all I've ever shot out of that gun. Or, I mean, I, I shot the 17s to uh, make sure because the Glock 17 was also uh, another gun that I had in, in the the kit for the house and with the light on it and all that. You've seen the 17. So the magazines from that fit in the Glock 26. That's the nice thing about Glocks. Same caliber for uh, same caliber pistol. The bigger magazines will always fit in the smaller guns. So I really like that. I think that's great about Glock. The ergonomics stink. The triggers on them are horrible. I heard somebody compare a uh, Glock trigger to a 1911 trigger. Oh, it's pretty much the same thing. No. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> Stop that right there. Oh, wind that engine out. Don't do that. This thing will round the corner a lot better than I will. Woohoo! 
I know a Glock trigger is not. I don't like the grip angle on them, but the 26 is cool because that little hump down at the bottom is right in the palm of your hand like a ball socket, you know? It's, it's just awesome. It's a great little gun. So we'll see how we do today. I don't know. Here we are. Here we are. <laughs> I'm slipping around. That's uh, you got to get used to that every time. Hmm. So all right, I'm gonna shut you down, guys, and uh, that'll be some editing later. But uh, I'll see you at the range here. Five, seven. Clear the board. 
So that was the bug shoot backup gun. Uh, man, that was fun. Good time. Uh, what's really cool with that was we were able to sign up with the group that we wanted to. Uh, the one I shot before, you just kind of shot as individuals. You went through the courses. Uh, they had people work in the range, and uh, this time you're all kind of helping. But uh, I think that's cool. What you get at the really competitive ones. It really competitive uh, any any event really I mean what I'm about to say kind of uh, goes for anything you get people who take it way too seriously and uh, they're just absolute top dog experts and you couldn't possibly know and they're gonna tell you and then uh, what really drives people nuts and, and drives people off to be honest is uh, the constant offering of advice. Oh, hey, if you do this, if you do that. And this is the way the guys who know what they're doing. Are good. And you go out there and you find out that uh, those guys are mimicking each other. And they expect you to mimic them. And anyway, there was none of that going on here. Everybody was having a good time. Everybody was laughing and talking and, and joking around. and uh, Behind the fire line, joking around. In front of the fire line or the safety line. At the firing line, everything was all business, obviously, but, you know, everybody was there just to, you know, do it and see how it went. And it was a good time. You don't have that super, you know, you don't have that super competitive thing going on where everybody's going nuts trying to beat each other. And uh, everybody's having fun. And that, that was a big deal. That was a big deal today. So, if you are thinking about doing pistol competitions, uh, this thing isn't going to recognize that I'm here. It's only going to let them go and then do the cross traffic. Oh, no, nope, there's my green light. Woohoo! Green light for me! So, anyway, if you are going to go and do pistol competition uh, stuff, IDPA, IPSC, all that. I would highly recommend this bug shoot. It's the first time I've ever even heard of it. Uh, it's the first time I obviously have done it. Nothing was drawing from the holster. It was all from the low ready, uh, which is great. You're going to walk up to the line. There's no... It's all five rounds, five rounds, five rounds. You're doing three sets of five rounds. So it's a really low round count. So the introduction to it is going to be inexpensive comparatively. Uh, we only shot 90 rounds today. Well, maybe it was a little more now. Right around 100. You're going to shoot about 100 rounds. You can buy a Winchester White Pack bulk 100 uh, round ammo pack for pretty cheap and go out and shoot one of these things. The entry fee was 25 bucks. That included lunch. Uh, there was no reloading as part of the stage. There was no pulling the gun from the holster. If you're new, if you're inexperienced, it's a really good introduction to the whole thing because uh, it's very safe. It's very safe for a noob. And I like that. None of the guys I shot with today uh, have shot one of those before. I've shot one and that was like 13 years ago. So for all intents and purposes, I've never shot one before. Uh, definitely not one of those backup gun shoots. The one I shot was an IDPA. In my humble opinion, it's a great starter for 
somebody who's never done it before. Highly recommended. Low round count, inexpensive to do. Uh, easy and super safe. Very safe. Some of the other ones, uh, you watch them, you can see where it's easy to get confused and not really know what's going on. And uh, Next thing you know, you're shooting yourself in the leg, trying to get the best time, best time, best time. And I would suggest if you do it, you go with a group of guys that know you're a noob. Don't go in and, oh, yeah, I've, I've shot all my life and all that. Just tell them, I don't know anything about this, but I would like to. And, and I'll tell you what, you get the right group of guys, they're going to... Uh, they're going to introduce you to it good. It's going to be a soft start. It's going to be easy. So, highly recommended backup gun shoot. Uh, get a good concealed carry gun and take it to one of those. It is a better expenditure of ammo. As unrealistic as it may be, especially uh, as demonstrated in that last one that you just saw. Uh, Absolutely, that last shot is murder, hands down. If I was on the jury, I'd nail you for murder too. There's just no way I would let that go. You've got the person down, they're no longer a threat, and uh, you have the weapon that they were attacking you with. You, you shoot them in the head after that. I'm sorry, but you deserve to go to prison for the rest of your life. That is a stupid thing to do. It is a... Uh, It is a morally uh, incorrect thing to do. It's unacceptable behavior, in my opinion. But it was part of the stage, so you do it, because that's, you know, you're running the stage. It's not real. But you got to be careful when you're doing these scenarios that you think about this stuff. Anyway, like I said, highly recommend it. It was a lot of fun, uh, especially the group I was with. The guys, I, you know, I know almost all those guys. So it was a lot of fun. Oh, and by the way, the girl, the one that danced in front of the camera and waved, uh, Naomi, she's an instructor, so it wouldn't surprise me a bit to find out later that she turned in the best score out of everybody, because uh, she, she was running real smooth on some of those. Uh, kind of a, one of those things, well, she's an instructor, so it's easy to say, it's one of those things, if you watch what she's doing and mimic that, you're going to probably do okay. So, anyway, yeah, really, really good time good group of people. Highly recommend it. Suggest you go try that out. Alright guys, I would be surprised if the battery made it this long, but if it did, I will catch you on the next one. This is the most fun part of the whole ride, is this little bit of curves right here. And the uh, Chrysler Pacifica is screwing that up for me. Oh, yeah.